Well, we're on day nine of 40 of our Elijah fast. Um, I don't know how many are you, of you are doing what on day nine of the water only fast. Doing great, feeling great. All my numbers are good. Blood pressure, blood sugar, heart rate, everything's doing great and wonderful. I hope and pray that you're all doing well with your fast as well, whatever it is that you're giving up. I pray you're finding time to replace the time you'd spend on those things in prayer and in the Word of God. Uh, today we're in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 7 through 16. And in this point here, Elijah's coming to Ahab, but A uh, Obadiah catches him first. And uh, Obadiah is apparently a believer, but he's also deep in politics. <laughs> He comes to Elijah and says, oh, no. He said, well, what are you doing here? He said, my king, the Ahab, Ahab, has looked everywhere. He's went to every country, and they never could find you. He's been looking everywhere for you. And he, then he gets worried, Obadiah does. And he says, wait. He said, wait. He said, I've managed to hide away a hundred of the, of the, uh, of the priests that, uh, of Israel. He said, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. You know, he reminds me so much of a politician. He's right there in with with Ahab, but yet um, when things need to go his way, he's quick to be right there with you, just like all our other politicians when it comes to election season. All of a sudden, they're, they're, um, they're Christians, they're hyper-Christians, and they're out there, and they're coming to church, and they're shaking hands. Look, Elijah wasn't fooled. Uh, don't you be fooled either. I'm not going to get into politics on here. But I will tell you this. Weigh everything out. Weigh everyone out by their actions. That's going to be the best way. See if there's any fruit... Uh, in their Christian life. Look, I hope you're going well through this fast. I hope everything is going fantastic. I hope that you're seeing breakthroughs like I am. Um, I'm praying the same thing for all of you. I uh, hope to see you in church this Sunday. Uh, we can share our testimonies of what all is going on. Let me pray for you. Father God, I pray even now that you continue to strengthen us as we go through this fast. Lord, I pray you continue to speak to us and speak to us even more so, Lord God, and give us a clarity. Father God, give us wisdom, knowledge, and discernment on the other side of this fast and even in the midst of this fast. Father, I pray that even now you begin to pour into the lives of those who are in the midst of the fast. And Father, if there are those who haven't joined with us yet, Lord, if it lead, you lead them to, I pray they would join with us as well. But Father God, I ask above all things that you continue to strengthen us and give us, Lord God, the boldness that we need going forward. I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, y'all have a great and wonderful evening. Um, but you know God loves you. you got to know by now that I love you. Get out there and make sure someone knows that you love them as well. And you have a great and wonderful day.